Let's jam out with probability. When finding combinations, you want to list all possibilities. Tree diagrams and tables can help prevent missing or extra possibilities. Let's look at this example. Letitia is playing a game. She has to spin two spinners below. Create a sample space of all the possible combinations that Letitia can land on. Here, the spinners are making the choice for us. They're deciding what number and what letter it they land on. So there's two choices. The first spinner makes the first choice. It's going to choose 1 through 6. The second spinner is going to make the second choice. So if the first spinner said 1, the second spinner might say A, or B, or C. If the first spinner said 2, the second spinner may say A, or B, or C. Same thing with the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth. So here are all our possible combinations. That's known as a tree diagram. You could also make a table being that we have two choices. So to make a table, you want to list one of your choices as a column and your other choice as the rows. Then you want to put them together and combine them. So for example, one and A are a possibility, one and B are a possibility, one and C, and then two and A, two and B, two and C, and so on. This helps us make sure that we didn't skip any choices and we didn't repeat any and double count them by accident. Let's look at another example. Margo went to Better Buys to purchase a new television. There were the following choices, LCD or plasma, screen sizes 36, 41, and 51 inches, and manufacturer, Sony, Vizio, or Philips. How many different televisions does the store have to offer? Well, first we want to see how many choices she has. Choice 1, LCD or plasma. Choice 2, screen size. And choice 3, manufacturer. That are three choices. So first choice she has LCD or plasma. The second choice is screen size. So if she chose LCD, she may choose 36 inches, 41, or 51. But if she chose plasma, her choices are again 36, 41, or 51. Then she has to choose the manufacturer. So an LCD 36 inch comes in Sony, Vizio, or Philips. Same with the 41 inch, same with the 51 inch. And again with all the plasma choices. So we've created a tree diagram of all the possible combinations. Problem wants to know how many are there. Well, we just count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there are 18 combinations. Now let's look at calculating probability from a sample space. To calculate probability, you make a fraction. Possibilities that you were looking for on top of the fraction in the numerator. And total possibilities down at the bottom in the denominator. This sample space shows all the possible combinations of two players playing rock, scissors, paper. According to the sample space, what is the probability both players choose paper? Well, they both seem to choose paper right here. And that's one out of, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine possibilities. So that probability is one ninth. We are ready to rock out some probability problems. Good luck.